and breaking news, P did it and pop right back the fuck out. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. And he was seen with Stevie J. Irregular sexual activity, right? That didn't seem to fuck up their bromance. I cannot fathom just popping out and having a great time while motherfuckers telling me I'm using T.D. Jakes as a cover-up for the Cassie lawsuit. That was easy. I'm cracking niggas back to back no matter what label they on. Warner Brothers, Universal, MMG. Daddy, chill. I mean... Did it gotta have that bag for real? So much has came out since this indictment has been revealed. Young Miami went on Twitter to say that Diddy ain't pay her no 250 to be no sex work. Psych! And it's like, I know, I understand, Young Miami. It gotta be embarrassing. Everybody thought you and the Chinese girl was fighting for Diddy love, but y'all was on the same payroll. It's exposed. <laughs> Court documents don't lie. Homeland security don't lie. So you stop lying. You know, ain't nobody worrying about what you did with your pussy and your free time, your spare time. Fat Joe also has something to say concerning this situation, stating him and P. Diddy have been friends for 30 years. He don't believe the accusations and all he doing is praying for him. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. I'm going to go ahead and keep it a bean with y'all. Motherfuckers is just scared to lose that connection that is P. Diddy, huh? Billionaire status have motherfuckers falling at your feet. And it's sad to watch. Bro, if this was any other nigga, y'all niggas wouldn't be so quick to stay by that person's side the way y'all doing Diddy. It's like, where's your morals and values? These accusations are heinous, now. This ain't no everyday he say, she say shit. This some real shit. So if this the way you choose to stand... In connection to Diddy, just know that says a lot about your character and moral. We gonna just have to see how this shit unfold, you know. I'm 70-30, you know. I 70% believe Homeland Security. I 30% believe Diddy. And I don't even really believe Diddy. Because he been jumping around and dancing and getting loose all on stage and in front of niggas' cameras and saying the zestiest shit for the longest. So... Diddy, you ain't off the hook with me. I ain't your friend. I don't need you. I don't need your connection. I don't need your love. And I damn sure don't listen to your music. So I don't mind speaking the truth. Jabal OG Cayano for more content like this. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.